by any means necessary. It is perhaps the greatest unsolved mystery of the turbulent 1960s. Who killed Malcolm X? To transform your life. This new book, the exhaustive work of Columbia University professor Manning Marable, outlines why the investigation should be reopened. Marable died last week, just before publication. Why is it important that all these years later the investigation be reopened? It is important because Professor Marable believed in justice, and his killers would never serve justice. February 21st, 1965, Malcolm X was speaking to several hundred people at a ballroom in Harlem when suddenly three men stood up in the front rows and opened fire. Thomas Hagen was caught at the scene and confessed to being one of the gunmen. Twelve years later, he signed affidavits claiming two other men, who both served long prison sentences, had nothing to do with the shooting. As Marable's quite powerful book details, uh, four of the actual assassins never were pursued, and at least one of them still lives openly uh, in the metro New York area. The book claims the NYPD knew Malcolm X's life was in danger, but turned the other way in the face of threats. By almost any standard, the investigation here at the murder scene was shoddy. Four hours after Malcolm X was shot, the Audubon was reopened for a church dance. The crime scene was cleaned up before a full forensic analysis could be done. There were still bullet holes in the wall when this dance party was taking place. So, you know, these kinds of questions are, are the kinds of questions that this book raises. Police deny a cover-up, but in his last interview, Marable told CBS News he wanted the U.S. Justice Department to reopen the case. Now plenty of people will wait to see if this last wish will be granted. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.